Biden și Donald Trump s-au confruntat față în față în prima dezbatere televizată dinaintea alegerilor prezidențiale. Evenimentul electoral a marcat și o premieră. A fost pentru prima dată când un actual și un fost președinte se duelează în declarații. Un alt element de noutate a constat în faptul că dezbaterea a fost organizată înainte de ca partidele să-i desemneze în mod oficial pe cei doi în cursa pentru Casa Albă. De-a lungul celor 90 de minute de dezbatere, Biden și Trump au avut de răspuns la întrebări legate de situația economică, politicile dedicate a avortului, modul în care trebuie gestionată migrația și pandemia de COVID. Spiritele s-au aprins când în discuție a fost adus subiectul războiului din Ucraina. Așa cum era de așteptat, cei doi s-au acuzat reciproc pentru situația actuală. Față de retorica anterioară, Trump a recunoscut că războiul din Ucraina nu ar fi trebuit să înceapă, dar l-a desemnat vinovat principal pe acesta, pe John Biden. If we had a real president, the president that knew, that was respected by Putin, he would have never, he would have never invaded Ukraine. A lot of people are dead right now, much more than people know. You know, they talk about numbers. You can double those numbers, maybe triple those numbers. He did nothing to stop it. In fact, I think he encouraged Russia from going in. Just like Israel would have never been invaded in a million years by Hamas. You know why? Because Iran was broke with me. I wouldn't let anybody do business with them. They ran out of money. They were broke. They had no money for Hamas. They had no money for anything. I've never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. I found ourselves in a situation where, if you take a look at what Trump did in Ukraine, he, this guy told Ukraine, told Trump, do whatever you want and do whatever you want. And that's exactly what Trump did to Putin, encourage him, do whatever you want. And he went in. And listen to what he said when he went in. He was going to take Kiev in five days, remember? Because it's part of the old Soviet Union. That's what he wanted to reestablish, Kiev. And he, in fact, didn't do it at all. He didn't, wasn't able to get it done. And they've lost over, they've lost thousands and thousands of troops. Oh, they're not acceptable. But look, this is a war that never should have started. If we had a leader in this war, he led everybody along. He's given $200 billion dollars now or more to Ukraine. He's given $200 billion. dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't think there's ever been anything like it. Every time that Zelensky comes to this country, he walks away with $60 billion. dollars. He's the greatest salesman ever. And I'm not knocking him. I'm not knocking anything. I'm only saying he's, the money that we're spending on this war, and we shouldn't be spending. It should have never happened. These are wars that will never end with him. He will drive us into World War III, and we're closer to World War III than anybody can imagine. We are very, very close to World War III, and he's driving us there. You want a World War III, let him follow and win, and let Putin say, do what you want, NATO. Just do what you want. 